this is a condensed formula for the molecule of hexane. Hexane will have six carbons. And we can actually make a skeletal formula for hexane. That will be one, two, three, four, five, six carbons long. That is the skeletal formula. We don't want to draw the expanded anymore. But here we have the condensed formula that is condensed and this one is the skeletal formula and there is another way to draw a condensed formula in which we can put all the carbons in one line minimizing the space and that will be we have one end CH3 and count how many the things group we have, we have CH2 and that will be 4 plus another end CH3. These three structures are representing the same substance and that is the molecule of hexane. Let's condense some more. The first one that we're going to do is the simplest one. We see here that this central carbon is attached to four methyl groups. Because it has four methyl groups, we can group them all together and put four methyl groups attached to that central carbon. The second one we're going to do is when we have this CH, CH is bonded to two of the same so we can put those in parentheses as well and put a subscript of two and of course the rest of the molecule now in this one we have two set of grouping we need to group the two methyl groups first so let's put two methyl groups attached to the CH. Now we have two CH2 that can be grouped as well. So let's do that with blue. So this one is two CH2 and the very end is this metal group. Now we're going to discuss compounds that have the same molecular formula but different structural formulas. They are called constitutional isomers or structural isomers. Let's first build the skeletal formulas for these substances. The first one is the molecule of hexane, which is six carbons long. Hexane, then we have a substituted pentane that is five carbons long, another substituted pentane, and this one will be four carbons long, that is a substituted butane, and another substituted butane. So the first one is hexane, it's a straight chain. We have now a branched pentane with the methyl group in position number two. We have a branched pentane with the methyl group on position number three, and a dimethyl butane in the two carbons right next to one another, and a dimethyl butane, but both of the methyl groups are placed within the same carbon. If we look at these substances, they will have the same number of atoms, the same number of carbons and hydrogens, but different connectivity from atom to atom. If we look at the formula, all of them will be C6H14. But in this case, we have the first one, that is hexane. It shows two carbons that has methyl groups. In this case, we have three methyl groups, one, two, and three. And... This one has one, two, and three, but in different positions. So they are all constitutional isomers. 